I want to address the current state of Forza Horizon 5's PC version of the game. So you know today is currently So you know today is currently November 15th, 2021, rather Monday, November 15th, 2021. This channel was scheduled to only release videos on Friday. But I figured that this situation was a situation that warranted at least kind of a response. I don't know if it's been talked about much in the community or if it's just been something that is unspoken. It's rather interesting because a tweet had actually um, prompted this video's response to the current situation with Forza Horizon 5. Many of you who are playing the Xbox versions, from what I've heard, it sounds like it is a mostly stable game, that the graphics are superb, there are very little bugs. Yes, there are still quite a few bugs, but there are not as many in comparison to the PC version. So it was on Wednesday, November 10th that the Forza support Twitter had made a tweet stating that things are going well, that they're planning on releasing a hot fix later within the week to address a lot of the problems that they have uh, found since their day one patch. However, it was on November 12th, uh, Friday specifically, that they released an update stating that they had found multiple systemic issues with the hotfix itself and were planning on delaying it for another week. So that tweet had actually prompted me to respond uh, to them directly with my own series of tweets, kind of describing my own personal situation with it. Of course, it's just going to be buried across all these other replies and whatnot. But my personal experience is I want to start out by stating this. I don't want to make this a rant. This is not a rant talking about how they're a bad company or how this was flawed from the start. I want to give Forza Horizon 5 some praise here. It is bar none the best arcade racing game at least for 2021 if not for 2022 if not for you know the past five years and that's even going up against need for speed heat which i've dumped a lot of time into and forza horizon 4 forza horizon 4 i really struggled with the engine audio sounds it was quite frankly appalling. A lot of the cars sounded really electronic or really flawed or just didn't sound realistic. And as soon as I saw, you know, some promo uh, videos that uh, Playground Games was releasing about how they're really taking the, um, the audio situation seriously, I got really hyped. I was ecstatic for it because we could finally get mostly realistic car sounds. And for the most part, whether it be them EQing it to sound more aggressive or if they actually did go out and re-record the audio, whatever the situation is, it worked. It sounds phenomenal. Uh, moreover, the next thing about it is that the graphics are spectacular. I was rather concerned when I saw the system requirements when they uh, released that little picture that said recommended is like a 3060. I'm sitting here with a 2060 Super and I was like, uh... Okay, this is not going to end well, especially on release. It's probably not going to be optimized. We're going to have loads of bugs and, you know, graphically at least. So I was very concerned about that. Turns out the graphics were probably the most optimized thing about the game, ironically. And they look perfect. So with Forza Horizon 5, I'm really stuck in a weird place because I want to give rave reviews stating that this game is absolutely superb that it's the best racing game that i've played in a long time if not period which is quite a statement coming from an individual who you know played racing games my whole life but on the other hand too this is kind of a situation that's been going on ever since that we've started releasing games to like steam or you can actually have patches after release versus whatever shows up on your hard disk or on your um, little cartridge, that's it. That's the final game. The thing that I really struggle with all of this is that we as a gaming community have really normalized the fact of games being released unfinished at release date. So a lot of these companies can 
state to their shareholders, oh, we released the game on the date that we said that we were, or, you know, six months after they originally delayed it already. And they have all these people downloading the game. They said that we've never had better sales. And then their shareholders go, job well done. Perfect. Except for the fact that a lot of the time, these games within the past 10 years, if not 15, are buggy wrecks that are barely functional, that a lot of people just say, okay, the game's finally released, let's go buy it, and they do. So ultimately, the issue that we're having is, again, like I was stating, that we as a community are normalizing unfinished games versus putting up a fit saying like, hey, why was this released? Like, it shouldn't have. But the other issue is, is that I'm conflicted because the game on Xbox, for the most point, or most part, seems that it is polished and mostly finished. But the PC version, I almost feel like that they just didn't play test it. It's there are so many issues with it that I I can't even begin to list off all of them. Like if you look at the support page of all the known bugs and errors, it's like why wasn't even half of this caught during play testing? It's like that they just did maybe a month of it and said, yeah, close enough. So with all that being said, the reason why I'm bringing this up is based off of two personal experiences, one of which one of my friends had actually uh, picked up the premium version of the game, was really looking forward to playing the game prior to it being released to the general public, but being released, you know, a couple of days in advance. And they literally were not able to boot the game. Like, they would open up the game, they'd get to, like, the Playground Games intro, and then the game would crash and close. And it was... It turned out that was due to uh, their anti-software conflicting with the game. And I'm sitting here going, like, it's not an uncommon software. It's a very common one. So why wasn't that caught during playtesting? And then kind of my own experience as well, where I too also bought the uh, premium version where I'd be able to play on the Friday before release. And on controller, I have had few issues still issues nonetheless where i get to like an hour through the game and then the game crashes but the other thing too that i've noticed is like when i'm trying to choose the front bumper for one of my vehicles i think in specific that i'm referring to the mitsubishi evo 8 like the game would just crash so i load up try to choose another front bumper it would crash i load it back up try choosing the front bumper and then it crash and it's like I'm trying to choose a bumper. What's the problem? It's, it did, didn't seem like that this would be something that would be game-breaking. Furthermore, I understand again that this is an arcade game, so it's meant to be played on controller. But with the current... Well, with the current situation of the pandemic, a lot of people being forced to stay home, uh, sim racing in general has exploded in popularity and leading to a lot of people like myself who didn't consider themselves sim racers to actually pick up like a fanatic csl dd or podium one podium two or um sin lab or sin cube i can't remember i think it's sin cube so we're picking up these wheel bases and we're trying to make them work with this game and when it does work it is a phenomenal experience it could be that i'm just um, getting like this first high or whatever of being like, oh my god, this is like the first time I've been able to play it with a racing wheel since Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2 and whichever Logitech wheel that I picked up at that time. But the issue that I was having is, again, there are so many bugs. One of them being like when you're hitting the uh, replay button, like, so you hit X on the steering wheel and then you hit X again to go back further, but then it pulls up the camera. And the camera is attached to the uh, toggle switch, or excuse me, the Joy-Con, essentially, or the uh, joystick. And the camera is attached to the joystick button, so I don't know why the X button even says, like, button 4 on screen. And that's why I've been hitting, and it just pulls up the camera. And it's like, no, I... 
so at this point, I'm basically ha playing the game with like a keyboard next to me because even accepting events, it's like button eight. What is button eight on a steering wheel? I don't know. And the worst part of it all has to do with the Fnatic wheelbases and just wheelbases in general, where it appears that once you finish a race, the game will freeze and crash. No matter what you do, no matter what options you change, it just crashes. <sighs> You would think that at least three people who playtested this on PC had a Fnatic wheelbase and could tell Playground Games, hey, this game is crashing after every race. It, it just, I don't understand the methodology of their playtesting. I really don't. Also, a little bit annoying as well, this is probably my last issue um, that I personally could probably resolve but it will take a little bit of money this game is huge and much like most recent AAA titles the loading times are atrocious and I could probably get a solid state drive and put need for speed heat Forza Horizon 4 Forza Horizon 5 on it just those games onto the solid state drive and it would like reduce the loading times by at least half because I actually wrote down these notes. On Thursday, I did a recording session of Forza Horizon 5 that I may or may not release. I'll see how bad the actual recording is. But I did, I did take some notes here. The recording was an hour, four minutes, 52 seconds. I was able to play through or go through settings or like choose cars and stuff like that for 41 minutes and 17 seconds of that. 23 minutes and 35 seconds of it was loading or like waiting for cinematics or something 23 minutes out of an hour the game had crashed or had a freeze six different times in an hour that's a that the game is crashing once every 10 minutes I am still, like, flabbergasted that they were able to release the game at all to PC. And the other issue that I had, too, was um, them announcing the preload on, like, October 29th or something like that for the Windows Store. So I bought the game on the Windows Store and then immediately forgot that I could actually purchase that on Steam. I refunded it, uninstalled the game, and then, like three days before the early access was supposed to get like be able to play the game then out of the blue they're like oh yeah by the way steam you're able to like preload the game and it's like some people don't have the internet to just be able to download it like a day before the game is released especially w with the early access people so I know I prefaced this as that this isn't a rant video or a video about how Playground Games is you know, like terrible or any of that kind of garbage. But that's what I've experienced per like personally. And as you can tell, I'm very disappointed, very upset. It's like this this shouldn't be happening. But kind of flipping it back, Playground Games has done and it's a they've done a reasonable job about at least communicating and this is the big thing is although it sucks telling the truth i'm glad that they weren't radio silent on like any of these issues like it would have been nice if they at least told us up front about the steam issue where they're like hey we're having issues with steam preload like we're expecting preload to be available in the future like in the next couple of days i'm okay with that because that that's them acknowledging hey this isn't going well we're going to need a little bit of time and that's fine and i actually really do appreciate them announcing that first tweet there saying like hey you know the hot fix isn't going the way that we we're expecting like it's going to get pushed back another week and in all honesty with the game's life cycle need for speed heat was dead in six months Forza Horizon 4 still was receiving patches at the time that Forza Horizon 5 was released. And that's like three years. 
So the them supporting the game, I am beyond excited, beyond uh, impressed, because they're making sure that when you drop sixty dollars or a hundred dollars or whatever price range that you dropped it at, they're making sure that you're getting your money's worth for a very long time. So when you have games like Need for Speed Heat, where there's nothing to do after six months because they're having you know, EA is just doing EA things. It just feels like a giant middle finger to to the player base because the rest of us are like, hey, we want to still play this game. There are still bugs that need to be fixed. And they're like, no, we're, we've are we already moved on to Battlefield 2042 or whatever. And it's like, that's not okay. Still, Playground Games. You do have a little bit to work on, but for the most part, if I were to play this on Xbox, this video probably wouldn't have been made because I'd be busy playing the game. But due to the issues on PC, I might have to put this down until the hotfix comes out. Yeah, it's I don't like saying that because it's a brand new game that I spent a good chunk of money on. But I'm not going to go out and buy an Xbox right now. Could I try buying it on the Windows Store and see if it's any more better? I'm not going to spend 60 bucks to try a different version of a game I already have. That just doesn't make sense. So for those of you who are able to play Forza Horizon 5 and are having fun doing it, what are you doing watching this video? Go play it. Like, do, just drop, drop this right now and go play it. Please. It's so good. It's insane. The... I actually enjoy the character customizations of, like, uh, the prosthetics and stuff. I uh, enjoy the character actually being able to speak because you have more natural conversations with the NPCs instead of talking to a brick wall. So, I... It's so good. But this week, it sucks. It does really suck as a PC player, so... I'm hoping that things go well for Playground Games. I'm hoping that they you know, find optimizations, that they find ways to get this hotfix pushed out sooner than they were hoping, you know? Because that makes us, as the fans, the players, happier because we're having less nuisances. Like, we are able to play the game more seamlessly for the time that we want to instead of only playing for an hour and just kind of calling it quits because we don't want to play it anymore because it keeps freaking crashing. And not driving into a wall crashing, like, the game just shuts down for no explained reason. So at this point, I've probably made my point clear enough, and I'm just kind of rambling. So, of course, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this content. Again, if you did enjoy this content, make sure to hit the subscribe button. It's down here somewhere. Uh, and also hit the like button. Uh, if Tell me about your guys' personal experiences with the game. So if, if you've had any issues on either the PC version or the Xbox versions, of course, me being a PC player, I didn't hear anything about the Xbox versions. I, I'm probably in my own little echo chamber of other PC gamers who are just upset so if you're enjoying the game on xbox or if you are on pc and i'm just probably over exaggerating issues call me out please i want to hear your guys's stories so of course uh, again thanks so much for watching i hope you guys have a great monday take care bye